All right, I recently had some questions about the Alan Bradley password hack, and I figured I'd just take a couple minutes and uh, we'll just uh, walk through it step by step and hopefully clear up any confusion. Um, I originally had a cable made up uh, using these um, nice little breakouts, and if you're looking for these, um, I say Alcom's got the best deal uh, as far as price and quality. There's part numbers for male and female. Um, but I did some reorganizing, and I can't find uh, a lot of that stuff, so. I didn't feel like uh, making another one, um, so I just broke down and bought a data tap. So uh, our communication path here is uh, we have a USB to 232 converter, and that's the main um, goes to our first communication port and is the main communication uh, to the PLC. Uh, just have a straight through cable into the data tap and straight through to our uh, MicroLogix uh, communication cable. And on the data tap, uh, there's a switches on the back, but all we're doing is monitoring pin two. Uh, which is the read pin and ground which is pin 5 and you can do that with the breakout cable uh, you don't need this um, but uh, makes life easier you don't have to hack anything so um, on the tap is just we're going to just use a standard uh, straight through serial cable into our second com port and that'll be monitored in hyper terminal so uh, let's head over to the computer and get it set up all right i got all the hardware set up so uh, let's get the software set up here um, so the first thing we want to do, um, I'm using XP mode since I don't have a newer version of RSLogix 500 uh, that works in 7, So, um, but the procedure is still the same. So um, I've attached the USB uh, RS-232 converter and we want to check the COM port on that. So we'll just go to my computer, right click, manage, and we'll go to device manager, ports, and it's COM5. And uh, set that up uh, the same as the PLC, so 19.2, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, and flow control none. And our data tapped uh, stream uh, is going to be COM port 1. Uh, it's actually a physical serial port on uh, the PC here, and that's going to be set up uh, exactly the same. So uh, we got that set up. I have RS Link set up, uh, COM port 5, uh, 19.2, all that jazz, so that's good to go. Uh, so before we want to go online, uh, I did put a password in here, uh, 1 through 9, and uh, we want to open up a new connection in HyperTerminal, so new connection, and we'll call it micro, and it's COM port 1, and we want to set that up uh, the same, so 19.2, data bits 8, pretty none, stop bits 1, and we want no uh, flow control. So, I'll uh, open up the port here. Um, not sure why it's still communicating. I uh, didn't do that before. Um, I'm not sure what's going on, but whatever, it's fine. Um, but so we'll go online. Ask for the prompt. Uh, we'll stop it here, and there you can see the password: one two three four five six seven eight nine. So um, it repeats a couple times there. Uh, we'll enter in the password, and we'll get in. And we'll go out and we'll change it. Um, so I'll go offline. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So for well, the password, we'll do nine to one. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine good and we'll download that 987654321 oh, I gotta enter in the original password yet all right so we'll go offline Alright, now should be ready to go again. Um, we'll enable Hyper Terminal and we'll try to go online. And, oh, there we go. Uh, where is it? There it is. There you go. 987-654-321. So, there you go. Easy peasy. Um, hopefully, I'll clear up uh, some of the questions. Um, there's really not much to it. Um, don't need all these fancy converters, you know, and anything like that. Just um, some serial cable and some connectors, and 
should be able to do it. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, maybe the newer processors, might have encryption, um, somebody pointed out, um, I haven't really looked into that. Uh, this is a Micrologix 1500 Series C. Um, I don't think it's, it's not super new, um, but it does work on this one. So uh, there you go. Hope it helps.